good fall, long fall, kind of the falls you like to have as a team, um, growing a lot. So super excited to kind of see what everyone did over break and come back. And Coach said she was super happy with yesterday's practice, and I know we were. So just bringing the energy, getting back into it, knocking the rust off, kind of those type of things. It's fun to be here. What did you guys learn about yourselves through fall ball? Yeah, um, I think we learned a lot. We learn a lot every fall. Um, the coaches do a really good job of putting us in adverse situations and kind of trying to create the diversity, trying to create the chaos. So then when it happens in the spring, we've been there before. So just learning how to communicate with each other, I think is a big one. We have a lot of young ones, have a lot of veterans, um, a lot of inexperience, a lot of experience. So just kind of figuring out how that's going to mesh and how it's going to come about in the season was probably a big learning point for us and super excited to see it. Has it hit you yet that you're two weeks away from the Garden and Gold game? Was it so close? Yeah, I mean, it's it, this time of season is crazy because you get back and you kind of get right back into it, but we're not ones that like rush into it. So we're not like, oh, first day of practice. I feel like, like a lot of teams are. Like yesterday was our first day of practice and we've been here for like a week or so. So it is super crazy. Garnet and Gold and then season and you kind of hit the ground running and before you know it, it's going to be like... March, April, so it is crazy, but just super excited. You talked about the young ones there. What's something that you've seen out of that freshman class that's exciting you? Because, you know, they were touted mm -hmm. as the number three signing class in the nation. Mm -hmm. I would say just pure talent. I mean, the, the talent that these freshmen have coming in, I've kind of said it to the coaches, they just get better and better every year. Their accessibility to so much coaching and stuff like that is definitely seen, and um, their ability to just want to be a part of the team, no matter what their role is, no matter what it's going to call for, um, they're all in, and it's been super awesome to see that and to kind of see them grow over the fall. Devin, there's another middle infielder, Annie Potter. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys work together a lot over fall ball. She did shortstop and second base. What's your read on her so far? Annie's awesome. I have nothing but amazing things to say about Annie. She's a great teammate, comes out every day, works her hardest, works her hardest in the weight room. Liz, the Florida State softball standard, um, great addition to the program. I couldn't be happier that she's here, honestly. As you guys had inner squad scrimmages, what did you see from the pitching staff life after Sandra Clark, obviously, is coming? Yeah, um, I just, you know, pitch by committee. They're ready for it. They know the innings they have to make up. I think they're super excited to get their opportunities to go out there and compete. Uh, they know we're work, working really hard to be behind them defensively and offensively. So I think they're just really excited to get out there and kind of create their own identity as a pitching staff. It's Every team is different, and uh, this one's no, no different than that, and they're really excited to kind of see how they come together. So, Deb, the time flies. You, time does fly. You're a senior. I can't believe it. I know. <laughs> Me neither. Um, how's it feel to be, like, one of the leaders? And, mm -hmm. um, you know, are you looking forward to this being your team? Yeah, very much so. Um, leadership's hard, but definitely worked hard at it the last five years. And to kind of be a leader and be able to leave a legacy here past my ability to play is super special to me. So just leave Florida State softball better than I found it and leave the young ones knowing how to do it, the right things to do, uh, how, how we do it, because I think it's super special here and it's super different than a lot of places. So that's kind of my focus this year is just be consistent, be steady, be what they need me to be and uh, leave this place better than I found it for sure. Obviously, Josie was your double play partner, you know. Um, have you talked to her about heading into the season about what you need to do to make sure you guys keep that same standard from last year, especially when helping the younger players? Yeah. I mean, I think Jose knows that we're going to do everything we can. Like, you know, there's no replacing Josie. There's no replacing Kat. There's no replacing anyone, honestly, but it's just next person up at this point. And we're super excited to see the type of player Asa is, to see this type of staff we're going to have pitching. Um, so I have no doubt that Issa and Annie are going to handle that shortstop position perfectly. And they're super excited to just get their opportunity. And they're doing a great job learning as well. And obviously going to miss Josie. And we created really good chemistry and just kind of had that ability to like lock eyes and know what was going on. But just creating that with your new teammates is super important too. So that's kind of what we're focusing on. Dad, oh, sorry, Devin, you've got a lot of tough matchups this year. You've got Clearwater coming up in a month. And you've got like Alabama coming to town, Texas coming mm -hmm. to town. What's your what matchup are you most excited for, personally? Hmm, it's a good question. Um, I would say probably out of Clearwater, probably most excited for Stanford. Um, made a super good run, super respectable organization, great pitching, great defense. Um, 
great offense, all of it, kind of all the nine yards. And we're just really excited to see how they match up. Not someone we got to see last year. I think all the other teams we've played before. So new team, new look, always fun. And then probably Texas. I mean, we've played Alabama quite a bit the past few years and we were supposed to play Texas a few years ago. And so just super excited for them. They're also young, I think, you know, similar to us. Uh, have really great pitching, all of the things. So I'm really excited to see how we match up against them too. You grew up in Sarasota, I, I think. Did. So close to that tournament, maybe mm -hmm. through the years following it as a teenager and, mm -hmm. and such. Have you seen that tournament grow as far as just what it can bring to Florida State? How it can help you develop through the course of a season? Oh yeah, I mean, I think it's super awesome because like a lot of teams there end up in the World Series or at least a few of them every year. So kind of coming off last year's World Series, you see a lot of matchups and then hopefully going into this year's World Series, you see matchups. So just kind of see how teams have grown. Like we went in there one year, didn't play great and then made it to the World Series. I know Texas went in there one year, didn't play great, made it to the World Series. So it's just super cool to see how you match up against that type of competition and early in the year and then how you grow as a team and get better and then compete later in the year as well. On that note, you know, um, that tournament's grown. Softball's grown to sport. How much of growth have you seen in your five years and what do you want to see this year and your last year to continue to grow the sport? It's grown crazy. I think, I don't remember who I was talking to about it, but like just from my quick COVID year of 23 games onto the next year after COVID happened and people were allowed in the stadium again, I think we were playing a midweek against FAMU and they bring a lot of fans out also and so do we and it was packed like the left field um, lawn was packed like the parking garage was packed like students it's not just fans now it's students want to be a part of it it's young girls so it's just super awesome to see the growth and every like all of them kind of coming together to support the game of softball I've talked to coach a lot about that I feel like it's all about the growth of softball it's not like oh, I'm better, I'm better, this is what it's all about. Like, it's how do we grow each other? How do we make it better? How do we leave it better than we found it? So to see that kind of come about in softball and trying to push for the Olympics and push for pro softball, um, all great steps, and it's been super cool to see. Anything else?